Welcome back to BYU Sports Station. We are live in Studio B alongside Jerem Jordan. I'm Spencer Linton. It's time that we give some significant love to BYU men's tennis because they've been playing Absolutely. super well this season, competing at the highest level in the Big 12 against several ranked, highly ranked teams and their dynamic doubles duo. Jack Barnett and Red Owen are with us in Studio B. Welcome, guys. Great Hello, to guys. have you How on BYU USA. Thanks, Thanks for having us. us. Hey, it's, it's a big weekend. It's, it's senior day. You got Texas, who's top five. Obviously, two matches. Uh, how you guys feeling going into, uh, obviously, the emotional last weekend, but you got some good competition coming in. Yeah, I think, like, these two teams we're facing, you know, they're, they're going to bring their A game. You know, I'm pretty sure Texas have beaten three top five teams in the last two weeks. And, I mean, but to host them at home, mm. we're, I think we're going to be ready. It's going to be big. Yeah, it's a great privilege, and we're excited to to get after it this weekend. Okay, if the weather if the weather holds, obviously you'd be outside. Do you move indoors if it's too cold? Like, who's making that call? Yeah. yeah Are you indoors. making that call? You're like, hey, <laughs> yeah, no, no. That's above our pay grade. But, <laughs> yeah. but they just barely said, actually, tomorrow's going to be indoors. So Tomorrow will be yeah. indoors. Okay. Mm -hmm. So go indoors, watch BYU versus Texas. That's yeah. always a fun matchup. It's outstanding. Yeah. Is there added motivation knowing that Texas is leaving the Big 12 after this season? Like, this is your one shot at them at home, most likely. Jack, what do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Like, when I saw the schedule, I was just thinking, like, you know, especially Oklahoma as well. Unfortunately, we didn't get that one. But Texas, you know, knowing now, especially how high they're ranked, you know, when are we going to play them again? Probably NCAA tournament, you know, maybe. Um, so, you know, looking into that match, super pumped for it. Yeah. Okay, you guys are a doubles duo. You're number one in four in singles. Red, tell us about kind of the dynamic of playing together, but also trying to uh, help your team out in singles, of course. No, for sure. And that's what's so interesting about playing college tennis is for our whole lives, it's been individual. And so we've only had to, our own sins have only hurt ourselves. But here in, in college tennis, and especially in doubles, you know, we're together and we're relying on each other, even though it's still individual. But playing with Jack has been a wonderful privilege. It's helped me you know, do the, go through the final stages of getting the rust off after my mission. And it's, we have a really special group, and I think we complement each other well as partners. And you went to, is it pronounced Benin or Benin? Both, either one. Both? Yeah. And, and then West Virginia, I'm, I'm assuming there was some Yeah, yeah so I started, it started in West Virginia, then went to. And then went there? Mm -hmm. the, just visa issues or something? Yeah, COVID, beginning of COVID. Gotcha. Yeah. How was that? Because those two places could not be more different from each other. I right, think. and West Virginia itself is like a different country <laughs> from here. My sister lives there, I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was, I mean, it was exactly kind of how you'd imagine. Um, you get your mission call and you go somewhere so exotic like West Africa and going there three weeks in, you realize that you're not just on a fun summer camp, you live there. <laughs> and so it was, it was one of the most special and difficult but meaningful experiences of my whole life. I didn't know where Benin or Benin was until this morning. So yeah. I, I have learned, yeah, it's like two away <laughs> from Ivory Coast, home of Charles Abuo, mm -hmm. uh, who we really like. And then, Jack, you're from Australia, man. Yeah. Uh, how, why was BYU in the cards for you? Yeah, I actually left Australia when I was 15, went to a tennis academy in Spain, then moved to Florida, and then was looking at the process of coming to uni university. And, um, you know, the head coach reached out, got in contact. I'd never heard of BYU, never heard of the church, and it's kind of crazy to think now, I'm, you know, I've loved it, loved my time here, and um, yeah, it's been a great journey, for sure. Wild. Jack Barnett and Red Owen with us on BYU Sports World travelers Station. here. Seriously. All over like, the place. Like the frequent flyer that's, miles are ridiculous. Yeah, that's amazing. In, in your professional career, your, your tennis careers, I should say. Um, we mentioned the success that you've had. Ten match win streak earlier this season. You've elevated your play in the Big 12. Why do you feel like BYU tennis with some new coaches in place, too, has, has taken a, a nice step in the right direction. What's gone into that? Both of you answer. Jack, we'll start with you. What's gone into that? Yeah, I think just, I think, for me, the energy portion, uh, Coach Zach and Coach uh, Jonathan have brought so much energy to the program. You know, they're really uplifting and, you know, they're so motivating. We want, we want to go out there every day and, I think, do our best, not only for them, obviously, but for BYU Nation and for ourselves. Um, but... For me, personally, it's, it's been a refreshing experience having these two new coaches in. Okay, so Jack's feeling the energy from the coaches. Red, would you add anything different to that? Yeah, I mean, I wanted to give the coaches a shout-out as well. They've got that. They, they're really good at paying attention to detail, and I think at the level of the guys that we have on the team, we have a wonderful camaraderie. Um, we're friends. And we hang out outside of tennis, which we're spending a heck of a lot of time together on the court. And so it, it says a lot about... The, the culture we've built just this year that we even want to spend more time, whether it be going to church on the weekends with each other or just hanging out. 
um, we, we sure love each other, and it's a special group. Jack, your dad was a pro water skier. Are yes. you good at water skiing? I've never water skied. Not once? Once? Uh, one time I <laughs> spat the dummy, never again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but I, we got to get you out on a lake again here. Uh, oh, yeah. Maybe, we'll yeah. see. <laughs> And then your dad played tennis at the U. Yep, my whole family is diehard University They're Utah all fans. Youths. Yep. Red. Yeah. What happened? I, well, I converted. I came to the light, and we're still. <laughs> and, and your name's Red. For right. Exactly. Say. But, <laughs> but the, the big thing is, is I've got so I've got three younger brothers, two of whom have now committed to play on the men's tennis team here. Look at that. And so we're almost the building a majority. The hearts of the fathers. Yeah. To the children and the children and the you, fathers. You yes, plant so. the seed, you nourish it, and exactly. become delicious unto the soul. Right? <laughs> right. That's you, how it works exactly. with BYU. Okay? You can't give up on people. <laughs> okay, sell, sell the homies on why they should come out and see BYU Texas uh, in, in the final weekend here. Because you also have uh, Baylor coming up Saturday as well. Yeah, I mean, I think the tennis experience at BYU is one of a kind. You know, we've got a new light show coming out. Oh, uh, we got snap. Cosmo coming out, obviously. Ooh, you let's know, go. And I think the energy that we bring, that the crowd can bring us, it really helps us to do better. And you know, free pizza, no less. Free pizza, oh, free admission. Yep. yep, free pizza, free admission. But it's a fun time, lots of energy. You can get super loud. Um, so, yeah. And, yeah. and you can wear your head backwards while you compete. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, there's not too many jacket, sports yeah. where you can do no, that, No, exactly. Right? Is that your look? That's how you That's how you roll? Yeah, indoors, just because it helps me see a little better. But yeah. outside, I'll wear it forwards. But, yeah. Awesome. Favorite tennis players on the professional circuit right now for both of you? Red, we'll start with See, you. See, for me, I'm a Novak Djokovic guy, and that gets me a lot of hate, but I, I've converted as well to Djokovic. I was a, a diehard Federer fan. Yeah. Exactly. I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, and him. I'm a little biased because like, he was really nice to me in a player's cafe one time when I was watching Jimmer Fredette, and he, like, moved out of the way so I could watch Jimmer Fredette. He asked him to. He's like, are we blocking the TV? Do you want some? It's like, I'm like, oh, my gosh. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Thanks, <laughs> man. <laughs> Gage. What do you think, Jack? Oh man, I'm gonna. This is controversial, but I think Nick Kyrgios, the bad boy. <laughs> Kyrgios, I, he's hilarious, yeah, dude. I love him. I mean, I've I've met him a few times, and he's such a nice guy outside the court. Unfortunately, he does get a bad rap on the court, but I mean, I think he's authentic, and without that, you know, I don't think I'd enjoy his attitude so much. But yeah. You need a little bit of that. Yeah. Like, uh -huh. I'm like that a little yeah, bit. So. Come on. Like, <laughs> we need that. We need, we need that at BYU, and we yeah. need more red at BYU <laughs> yeah, in the exactly. appropriate fashion. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good luck. All the karma we can give you uh, this weekend against Texas and then Baylor uh, on uh, Senior Day for you, Jack. So congratulations on all the success, and good luck. Thank, Thank you. you.